still early in the game and just advancing the plot line without any blood moons or towers. And getting up to and defeating Vyradanya was uh, pretty uneventful, pretty normal. But later on something interesting happened, so let's make a specific notice that when I fight this stone talus, I then collect these luminous ore deposits. And that's important for later in the game, because later in the game I'll return to this spot and we'll see that the stone talus is still gone, but these ore deposits actually come back. And here we have another one of my major curiosities about the game without any towers. The woodland tower, the skull, looks like it's hovering up in the air. So let's go have a closer look at that and get our royal claymore. Next up, I'm making my way over toward Va Meadow and along the way collecting all kinds of Korok seeds, destroying stone taluses, picking up uh, anything that I find along the way, and then this happened. That's right, a blood moon in my blood moonless game. So there's nothing to do except load. I lost like an hour and a half of gameplay here, so I learned the hard way. Save regularly. It took a while to get back to Rito Village, but since I'm here, uh, and this is a finite resource game, I'm not going to have any dragons or blood moons to replenish the stone taluses. I figured this is one of the easiest ways to collect a good number of rupees. And you notice that I'm saving a lot more compulsively now, and it's a good thing too because... Daytime Glitch Blood Moon again. Fortunately, no problem the second time. As with Vavardanya, Va Meadow had basically nothing special about it. Well, there was this one thing. Because I can't get into shrines that have guardians in them, this is my only source for guardian weapons. Very useful when I go and fight guardians in the wild. Also, because I have no source of ancient cores, it actually took me until now before I was able to go and get my Stasis Plus. show a shot of the Shivanir Shrine because this is one of the first shrines after the Great Plateau that I was actually able to get into. And this is the reason I care about getting those ancient weapons from inside the Divine Beast. Because even the wimpiest ancient weapon will take off a guardian leg in one hit. Still, there was nothing especially difficult about defeating Vavruta. The blood moons and towers didn't really change the gameplay at all. And I think that's where I'll cut off this video, and see you all next time.